Okay, so now I'm looking at problems that were lost in a recent assessment. Here's one of them. 38% of the people who attempted uh, this topic in the last reassessment lost it. 62% uh, retained it. I've already done a video for that one, so I'm going to move on to this next one. Using mass density to find mass or volume. This was lost in recent assessment. Let me click on that, and I'm going to make a snapshot of it and take it over to my whiteboard. Here's my whiteboard. Control N. New. File. Add image. Using mass density. Okay. So, here's what we got. Uh, a, chemistry, a chemistry student uh, needs 45 grams of tetrahydrofuran for an experiment. By consulting the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics, the student discovers that the density of tetrahydrofuran is this. All right, calculate the volume. Okay, looking for a volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up and I'm going to say, all right, if I'm looking for a volume and I see that these are the two numbers I'm given, I've got a volume that's right there. This is going to be in cubic centimeters. So I'm going to say cubic centimeters, okay, which is the same thing as mils. Now I'm going to work my way backwards and I'm going to say if I've got cubic centimeters and I need, need in the end, I'm going to have cubic centimeters here somewhere, right? And aha, it's related to grams. See that? Okay, so I'll put the number in in just a minute, but I've got this and I've got this. I need this in the end, right? So I've got to cross off grams. So I come back up to my question. Ah, wow, there it is right there. Nothing to it. So there's my measurement. Here's my conversion. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm set, right? You see my grams are gonna cross off? Can you see that? Okay, now let's put the numbers in and we'll be done. So the numbers are 45.0 and here the numbers are 0 0.889 grams per one cubic centimeter. I'm going to put this in my calculator and I am going to see uh, 45 divided by 0.889 is equal to 50.61, oh I don't know, 867 dot dot dot, right? Cubic centimeters. Well, I'm going to go back up now and say this had three sig figs in it. This had three sig figs in it. Okay, and so three sig figs times three sig figs gives me three sig figs. So it looks like this answer is going to be reported as 50.6 cubic centimeters. All right, hope that's helpful.